And that brings us into our first game in the loser's bracket. On the defending team for the first round you have Hammer and Sickle and Ghost, a very capable team. We've seen them try a lot of different strategies on a lot of different maps, some of which have almost worked. Now, on the other side, on the attacking team, we have the aggressive duo of G-Wolf and Fish. We've just seen them in the Brody and Gungay game. They performed very well on their attacks, but said they, they lacked in some places regarding team cohesion, in particularly pushing together. So we'll see if they've corrected those sort of uh, issues and mistakes in their team play approaching this next game in this uh, series. Now, the Losers Bracket series, if they win enough of them, they do eventually get an opportunity to compete for the uh, main prize of the tournament. So, they might even end up versing uh, Brody and Gunge again for the main prize, but we'll have to see and let all that pan out first. Now, we're seeing Jewel here in the BZ75 uses boots towards the 8-9 line here, taking a very sort of brawl-centric path, trying to go for a quick and dirty fight. But it's a fight that the uh, opposition isn't going give to give, give to them, with ghosts perching up on this hill with a badger. And fish, um, Fishy... Oh wait, no, 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 no hang on. And uh, Hammer and Sickle, ghost's teammate in the S-Conk, taking a passive position, probably around E1 or F1, hull down in the S-Conk. Now, if uh, Ghost isn't careful here, he might actually get shot on the side if he gets spotted, because the Badger's view range isn't actually that great. Albeit the BZ's and uh, 5A's view range isn't particularly great, Fishy might be able to outspot the Badger and get a sneaky shot into the side here if, the, if he's moving around at least, and he's wiggling his tank without much care. So we'll see if Fishy manages to get that connection, and we'll see how carefully Ghost plays as well. Ghost, of course, checking the mid, seeing if they're trying to be a little sneaky, get towards that G4, G5 hull down, play towards the one cap, but it is looking like they're going to try and make a two cap play. Now, the two cap, from what I know, is very open on this map, and it's not going to be easy to pull off, especially with Ghost in that position with the Badger. Now, these two players, known for their aggression, they could pull anything off here. Especially with Jewel for those rocket boosters. If the Eskonks are just a little bit too far away from the Badger, then, and then isn't able to quite support him, this could become a disaster for the defending team. Now we're seeing this setup. Jewel might, might actually get spotted here. He's, he's poking very aggressively towards this Badger. And the element of surprise may be gone very soon. Fishy here, he's going through the bushes. He probably won't get spotted by the Badger because the Badger's view range isn't the greatest as mentioned before. But we'll see if that spot ends up coming through. Now we're seeing the two cap pop off now with the badger. The badger is on the move actually. The badger is heading in. Fish might be able to get a connection here. Will he connect it? Oh, he connects it, but it just doesn't tra quite pen it tra instead tracking the badger. The badger going for a quick snapshot back, unfortunately also missing. Now the two cap continues. Jewel here very stealthily hidden in the bush. He's going to get a shot on the badger, but it bounces. I'm not sure if that was an AP shell or why that bounced, but something went terribly wrong there. Now Jewel here, I'm not sure if he's planning on stick it, staying in front of the badger here. As a uh, hammer and sickle in the S conk, he's making a very, very good time towards this uh, 5A. As he gets spotted on the cross here, Jewel might get a connection on him as he crosses the open here, but it doesn't look like it's going to come through. Jewel isn't paying enough attention to the Eskong instead of being distracted by the Badger. As he now refocuses his attention, he still doesn't seem to see the Eskong barreling towards his teammate. Neither of them do. I do believe the Eskong is spotted though, and as he uh, f makes a shot towards Jewel, he will be noticed. Fishy now switching his attention to the Eskong. Fish could peek up here and get a very good angle on him, but instead he's going to turn around and allow the Eskong that critical position there. I think that's a pretty monumental fumble by Fishy. As he uh, desperately retreats, this Eskong is going to have better and better angles on him peeking from the top of that hill. Now the Badger moving forward, the defending team is on the prowl, these two attackers, they don't quite know what to do, they don't quite know which way to go against the turret armor of the Badger and the Eskonk. Of course the Badger not having a turret just has an incredible upper plate. Uh, they won't be able to penetrate anything through that. Now Fishy getting a cheeky connection there onto Hammer and Sickle, this, uh, this game is very far from over, the HP holding even. Uh, with the, with the, ooh, Fishy with another connection there. Is Hammer and Sickle overplaying his position? He's giving Fishy the side of his turret here. This is a, 
quite a significant mistake to be making. As Ghost now, Ghost and Hammer and Sickle desperately trying to work out is their way around, but ha Ghost very aggressively swinging the side of his Badger. Very big balls on this man to make this kind of maneuver in the Badger. As fishy as his shot, I think it connected into a fence or something there. Didn't quite make it even halfway to the Badger, unfortunately. As uh, Hammer and Sickle continues to try and peek up. Now the defenders, they have very good positions here. I don't really think there's a way these attackers can come in from this angle. They're going to have to sort of try and find a different way to approach this. I think the only way they can do this is if Geowolf from the BZ-75 tries to go around. Because right now, what's happening here isn't really working too well. As Fish connects another one with the Hammer and Sickle, but he also takes one in return. From the Badger, as well as the S-Kunk, this is a monumental punishment by the, from the 5A right now. As Geowulf, he's going to drive forward. He's going to try and get the Seskong. They're making a final push here, but he misses the shot. That's terrible. And that might have just sealed the deal for this game. As uh, the attacking side will be completely torn apart by the Eskonk and Badger defense. And that just about concludes it. As we see a bounce by both Jewel for Hammer and Sickle. Jewel turning on the rocket launch is trying to make anything happen here. He needs to penetrate one shot to have a chance. Because he can get around that badger, but the game one will be closed off right then and there. Unfortunately, not looking too good for Fishy and Jewel from the loser's bracket. But they will have a chance to come back as this is a best of three, and it's only the first game. And now, next up is Fishy and Jewel's defense against Hammer and Sickle and Ghost.